Hello everybody, this is Mackerel Phones. Today I'm playing The Huntress of the Hollow. This is a freeware RPG Maker game. And I thought it looked kind of interesting. I believe it has a fairy tale theme, but I'm not entirely sure. Let's begin. Once upon a time, in a village far, far away, there lived a young girl by the name of Lenora. Lenora was a honest, hard-working girl, just like the rest of her family. She and her mother lived peacefully in the village and wanted for nothing. Every week, Lenora and her mother would prepare a basket of treats to bring to her grandmother, a kind old woman who lived in a little house in the middle of the woods. It just so happens that today is the day that Lenora must visit her grandmother again. Like a good daughter, she wakes from her bed, dresses, and descends the stairs of her home to speak with her mother about today's visit. You can sprint with shift, huh? Okay. Oh, rules. Wait, auto hunt? Okay, so auto hunt just means fu means auto combat. Um. And wolves are our enemies, huh? Yeah, it's like back in near. It makes sense she can't hunt wolves stronger than herself. Oh, and they're always fights to the death. It's pretty grim. I think I have to go visit Grandmother today. I'm loving these graphics already. Mom usually wakes me up and makes me do errands before the trip, but it looks like she forgot to do that today. She's out in the garden right now. I'm certain as soon as she sees me, she'll tell me whatever it is I need to do today. Isn't today the day you need to go see Grandma? So, I'm just kind of curious what our stats are. We have very low HP. And nothing. I mean, I'm not surprised. It's a nice touch that her inventory is pockets. Good morning, sleepy daughter of mine. You woke up just in time to get ready to visit your grandmother. Morning, Mom. So today I need you to visit the shop and the smith for some groceries and a package. When I'm done weeding, we can get your basket ready for Grandma, all right? Right. I'll be back with your things, Mom. Errand. This town is very pink. I love pink. And this is the Cullament residence. That's odd that the houses have signs outside. Well, I don't know what culture this community has. Maybe it's normal here. Pokeweed Square is very pretty. And this says to West Pokeweed, okay. There's a dog running around. With a heart in its eye? Mrs. Dogwood, huh? Dash sure does love running around outside. If I don't keep a close eye on him, he might run off to the woods. Yeah, he's a lovely little guy. Dogwood residence. Yep, all the houses definitely have signs outside. This is Mrs. Dogwood. She seems nice. She's very pretty, but everybody's pretty, probably. That guy isn't pretty, that's not the word I'd use, but I like him. I hope the Huntsman will bring some game too. I love curing wild boar pork, and Charles says my pork jelly sells really well in other villages. Pork jelly? I see, we must be in like, Eastern Europe. 
This is the bladder nut residence. Makes sense. So it's okay that he was blocking the door. Well, this, I think, is the smithery. I'm not sure why I think that. A smithy. Oh, the smith is a woman. A very progressive village. Or this could be his daughter or something. Hello, Lenora. Your ma's package isn't quite done yet. Come back sometime later, maybe half hour. It'll be good to go then. Okay, then, I'll be sure to. Okay. I see. Lenora is like a... Red Riding Hood kind of character. The version of the story in the original edition of the Grimm's Fairy Tales actually is called Little Red Cap. Because she's not a hood, it's a cap she has in the story. But here it's bright pink. Everything else is a kind of muted pink, except Lenora, who's a that nice hot pink. Owning a full hutch of rabbits in the middle of a wolf-infested forest is a bit dangerous. But if I didn't keep them here, they would all be eaten. Thanks. Oh, I get it, see? Her uh, hair is like bunny ears. I once saw a massive wolf on the edge of the forest one night, you know. It started, or it stared straight at me like it knew me, and as if it knew I had rabbits, too. I don't ever leave the village at night anymore because of that monster. I have to protect my rabbits. Well, Ms. Lopseed, I think the grandma should not live in these woods. I heard the huntsman will be stopping by later this evening. Wonder what tales he'll have about hunting wolves today. I don't know. How many hunting wolves kind of tales are there? Probably as many as there are people to tell him, huh? This is a well. Well, well, well. Whoa! I love you, sir. You look a little bit like Mario. Maybe you're an ancestor of his before the family moved to Italy. A massive, horrible wolf killed my wife a couple years ago. I wish he was still alive almost every day. That's sad. I'm sorry, man. I didn't realize that you were just gonna... say that. I guess the Baroness isn't living here anymore, huh? The village is very lucky that the Huntsman came to protect it just after my wife died. Thanks to his hard work, we even had a wolf attack for the past couple years. Wow. These people live in a very... on the edge of survival, huh? Hello, shopman. You're also very skinny, just like the smith lady. Good day to you, Lenora. I've got your mother's things right here. Here's one loaf of bread, fresh from the bakery. A few slices of ham from the butcher. And one glass bottle of crystal clear water. Thank you, Mr. Kohosh. Make sure to tell your mother hello for me. What a suave gentleman. He's probably a lower class kind of... Or actually, I don't know. I think there's an emergent bourgeois in this community. So no, he's not lower class. My bad. Also, this music should be a little louder. Wait a second. Okay, now let's go see if our package is ready. Huh, Smith? We've been walking around town for a while now. Hello, Lenora. It, no, it's still not quite done. Lenora's a good girl. Obeying what her elders say. Yeah, this is not a community on the cusp of revolution. It's a very sort of obedient little town. And what's this way, anyway? To East Pokewood. Okay. Huh. So this is the gate that separates us from the wolves? If so, it's not a very good gate because the forest is still all around the town. Like, the wall doesn't surround the town, it's just on the road. It wouldn't even keep out people. The Sweetspire residence, huh? I take it you're a Mrs. or Ms. Sweetspire. Ms. Ah, a feminist. Wait a minute, Ms. you know, wasn't in use at this point. What's going on here? When's this taking place? Whatever. Well, actually, 
I guess it was kind of in use in like Germany. Maybe? I don't know the history of words like Frau in uh, German, so I wouldn't know. One time when I was a young woman, a handsome mercenary for hire stopped by the village. I fell head over heels for him. But a massive wolf got the best of him and drug his corpse away to its den. It was a shame. We were going to leave the village together. That's a very strange thing for you to just say. I mean, I'm sorry that this happened to you. Matter residence is down below. Oh, okay. This is where Matter lives, huh? I'm not home. Or, er, not. No one's... Nobody's home. Or Noonie's home. I guess his name is Noonie Matter. Or her. Noonie sounds like a woman's name. Pokeweed Gate. Yeah. We probably don't want to leave. My great-grandmother and her husband were the first to settle Pokeweed Hollow. They built this gate to separate the village from the deep forest. Beyond here, the forest gets much more dangerous. It's good you have a sense of history. All too many people do not. Lenora, you should know that being the village doctor is a very demanding job. Compassion alone won't keep everyone alive and healthy. Yeah, you don't seem to have much compassion if you're kind of grumping to a little girl like this. But this is clearly one of those close-knit communities where everybody knows everybody. Sometimes I wish I could live in a place like that. But then again, I'm an introvert, so why would I wish that? I don't know. Is the package ready yet? No, nope, not yet. In any case, despite the wolf problem, this seems like a nice place to live. Kind of like Fossad, except way better, because there aren't all the rules and stuff. Hey, Mom, I got the groceries. Pumpernickel and ham. Ms. Stonecrop said she won't have your package ready until later today, but here are the rest of the things you need. Thank you, dear. You can set them beside me. I need to finish plucking these weeds, and then we can have lo- Oh my goodness! What could that commotion be? I don't know, but I'll look and see. Do be careful, dear. I'll be by in a minute. She needs to get ready, I guess. I noticed that Mom has a scar on her nose. I have a bad feeling about this. A wolf got into town, right? Story. Story one, I guess. How tall is this building? Oh no! The village is in complete chaos, and... Are those wolves? Lenora, don't let those beasts come near you. They'll kill you in one bite. Come to us, girl. Don't stand there like a sitting duck. They'll kill me. In one bite? Wait, the wolves look just like the harmless little doggy. What's going on? Did the wolves set the town on fire? Are these like supernatural wolves? More likely some panicking person overturned a lantern. Quick, Lenora, get inside the Baron's house. Come talk to me when you've gotten some rest, okay? Where's the huntsman when you need him? Wolves. I swear to all that's holy, if they get in my inventory, I'll go out there and clock them in the muzzles myself. Can-do attitude, huh? I got the rabbits safe in their hutch, but I'm really worried about Joshua. I haven't seen him at all. Is he a person or a rabbit? Probably a person. You're worried about matter? The boy will be fine. All he does is hide in his house anyway. Yeah, I guess it is a boy, huh? Noony matter. I hope he's okay. Well, we'll find him later. I don't know what to do. The village is overrun by wolves and it caught fire. Oh, if only my wife was still here. 
To think that we... Well, I don't know why Great Grandma settled this village. I say we stay inside. The Huntsman will be here soon, and he'll handle all these wolves for us. Don't tell Josephine I said that. I'm kind of... confused. Does no one else in this little frontier village in the wilderness know how to fight the wolves? I guess it's acceptable because it's a fairy tale kind of setting. Dash spotted the wolves first, but I thought he was barking at Esther's rabbits again. Esther. At least we got inside safely. Dash is quite a good guard dog for a puppy. Only a few degrees separate Dash, though, from the wolves, huh? What the... Why won't she go upstairs? I'm not sure. Didn't she need to get some rest? Hey, Lenora, how are you feeling? About as good as I can feel in this situation. Good. Take this. I appreciate the thought, but I don't think Mother's groceries are... It's an axe, girl. You're going to help me clear out those wolves. Why her? Why aren't you asking, I don't know, that guy who we were just talking to didn't want Josephine to find out? But, but I can hardly chop wood, let alone kill a wolf. How could I possibly do that? We have no choice, Lenora. You and I are the only ones who can protect the village right now. Why? Can no one else? What about the shopkeeper? That guy is itching to go fight. Although, admittedly, Lenora probably has more muscle on her than he does. Don't worry. We have just enough time that I can teach you how to use it. Dash, come here. <coughs> Alright, Lenora. I'm going to run through how to hunt quickly with you because we don't have a lot of time. No, oh, don't worry about hurting Dash. He'll be fine. He's a tough pup. Phew. One last thing. If you don't follow my orders exactly, we will be stuck here for a very, very long time. So just focus on what I say. This is your hunting ground, the area immediately around you and your prey. Dash over here is the prey. You over there are the hunter. Before any hunt, a huntress must be familiar with her axe. Get a feel for yours. Try to give Dash a wallop. Choose hunt, then attack. Does this really require a tutorial? This seems pretty straightforward. Although I have to say, Lenora doesn't seem too comfortable with her axe. Good, good. But do you know what makes a good huntress a great one? Knowing her prey. If you know what to expect from prey, your hunts will be much easier. Next, I want you to scout Dash for information about him. Open your specials menu and choose Scout. I'm glad we missed. Even though there was still a rather gross noise. These are some tough sounding moves. But uh, frankly, I wouldn't expect any better from her. Which once again raises the question, why Lenora? The village mutt with a heart made of gold and puppy chow. What a heart. You're catching on very quick, good job Lenora. As you gain experience hunting, you'll start to learn new and better techniques to end hunts quickly. But for now, let's go over safety during a hunt. Always keep yourself healthy and hydrated for battle. You should always keep your pockets full. Here's a tart and a bottle of water. Go ahead and use either from your pockets. Frankly, I kinda hate having to use these. Um, I guess I'll use this. It'll be a waste either way. Food will nourish your body and drink your spirit. Always use your provisions wisely. Unfortunately, we've run out of time. Hunting will come naturally to you soon, but I have a feeling the wolves outside won't be our only problem. For now, let's just steal ourselves and stop the hysteria. Okay, Lenora, follow me. Is it because we're the only one who isn't panicking? 
Lenora, I know you're a tough girl inside. Don't let your guard down for one second. Why aren't you coming? Why did she instantly go to Lenora and not you? You seem very qualified. You couldn't know less about this than Lenora. Goodness, I don't know what you and Josephine are thinking. Be careful or your mother will kill me. The wolves might kill us too. If Josephine gets you killed, we'll probably throw her to the wolves ourselves. Don't tell Josephine I said that. You could not possibly kick her ass, man. I have all the confidence in the world for you. Bear your fangs, Lenora. Aw, oh, shucks. I thank you guys for your support. It means a lot. I don't know what that woman is thinking. I won't have supplies for wolf maulings until next week. Lenora, you know we wouldn't send you out there if we had better options. Please be careful. Well, why isn't the shopkeeper a better option? The mayor, I get it, he's old, and you are kind of a coward guy. But him? Why not him? Well, fine, let's go. Some of the fires went out, but it looks like some wolves got in. Okay, Lenora, you ready to go hunting? C kind of. I'll take the western half of town, you take the east. We can do this. Chin up. This seems like a bad idea. Is this turn based or is it a sort of uh, like Final Fantasy 4? I forget what that's called. I think it's like Final Fantasy IV where you attack once the- where both sides just attack when they have the chance to. Yeah, well, we're not doing so hot ourselves. Well, fortunately, though, we have a little berry tart. It's a good thing, because we're gonna need that. Lenora, you are in over your head by an order of magnitude. What is it with these video games and little girls who are- in over their heads by an order of magnitude. We've seen this before with things like Fran Bo. Oh no, there's two of them. Just attack the one until it's out, or try to attack it. The key is to attack them before they have a chance to attack us. Okay, uh, might be time to use this. Yeah, okay, might be time to use this. That didn't seem to be much different at all from our normal attack. Well, actually did a lot more damage. So, I clearly spoke too soon. All right, we're gonna take it out. I like this music though. It's, doesn't, it's not battle music at all, but I think that it's a, um, you know, I think it definitely suits the Sort of surreal. Uh, this is bad. This is bad! We're practically already out of HP. Oh, thank goodness, though, we got a tart. We got a couple of them, probably because there are multiple wolves. Use it, Lenora. Now, in real life, Lenora, I'm sorry to tell you, but it'd take more than this to help you with your wounds. In real life, eating berry tarts do not is not a valid form of first aid! So I see, we're gonna have to really use these um, special attacks, you know, as best we can in order to, um, uh, to take out the wolves. Because otherwise, they'll kill us. I see that we're always probably going to be on the brink of dying. Not that it's surprising. I mean, look at Lenora. It's amazing she isn't dead already. Thank God she isn't, though. Looks like that's the last of them. I'll gather everyone up at the well, then. Good job, Lenora. What kind of town is this where the only hope is a little girl? Like, no one else helped except the blacksmith. Oh my goodness, Lenora! 
Josephine told me everything. I'm so glad you're all right. She did really well, Patience. Sorry I had to bring your daughter into all this. Josie, I swear if this was any other time I would have slapped you myself. You're both lucky you're alive. It, it actually wasn't too bad. Ahem. <laughs> We are all glad that our courageous ladies survived such an ordeal most assuredly. But we have a problem. Our village is a wreck, and I feel we won't be able to handle another attack from the wolves. That reminds me. Oh goodness, Lenora, honey. What about Grandma? She's out in Buttonbush Woods all by herself. Lenora and I can go check on her. Don't worry, Patience. I'll keep her safe. Ahem. That is a wonderful idea, Josephine. And after you catch up with our elderly friend, you should go fetch the Huntsman, too. Tell him about our plight. Surely he'll be able to find a solution to this problem for us. Ugh, that fool. Why do we need him? Josie, you know the Baron's right about this. The whole village was almost razed to the ground. I agree with Lulu Bell and the Baron. We could use his help, at least. Help? Like that bumbling man could ever get his priorities straight for one moment. I say we slot we side with Stonecrop. What's going on here? I thought the Huntsman was like the savior of this village. But there are people who don't like him? Well, clearly, Ms. Sweetspire says we don't need him. Thanks, Theodosia. You're the only one making sense right now. Benjamin, I don't see why you can't just trust me to keep us safe like you used to. That Huntsman is such a bore anyway. Josephine. Fine, fine. We'll go get that helpless sod. But I won't be happy about it. Lenora, once you get your bearings, meet me at the east edge of the square, okay? Sure thing, Miss Stonecrop. Josephine never trusted the Huntsman since he first came here. But he was the one who brought me the pelt of the wolf that killed my wife. I would trust that man with my life. Dash has been acting crazy about those wolves for a while now. Do you think he knows something we don't? He might just smell something. We don't, because he's a wolf, or he's a dog. In this case, they're pretty much identical. I was going to go on an inventory trip to the next village tomorrow morning, but now I can't. You and Josephine better get that huntsman here quickly. The sooner he's helping us, the better. Lenora, above all else, make sure your grandma's safe. Miss Stonecrop will protect you both. She's a wonderful huntress and a good friend. Well, we know she's a friend. You don't need to tell Lenora that, but why aren't you coming? You're sending your daughter instead of going yourself to check on your mom? Thanks, Mom. Jeez. Maybe all this ruckus will make Josie go out hunting again. Between you and me, she makes cleaner kills than the Huntsman. There's something inside. Yeah, what is it? Good. Why was that there? I would expect to find maybe a thumb-sized baby girl inside. Well, we're... Trees are full of water anyway. Um... My rabbit survived the attack, so I'm feeling pretty good. Wow! The wolves didn't even get the rabbits, huh? They might have gotten a few of them, though. You, you can't tell for sure. Uh, hi, Lenora. When I heard the commotion, I locked my door. I'm sorry they made you kill the wolves. I, I should have been the one to help Josephine. Yeah, okay. You see, earlier, when you talked to them twice, they had new dialogue, and now they don't. You shouldn't introduce that and then not keep it consistent. Those wolf corpses are going to stink up this village for days. I should try to convince that huntsman that they'll make good pelts. Why don't you bury them? In my experience, you find a dead animal in your yard, you dig a hole and bury it. A wolf corpse. 
It feels like it's staring at me. Creepy. But death comes to us all. Some of us, death comes to us through axes. We should probably save. Good job, Lenora. Well, Josie. Or Ms. Stonecrop, as Lenora would call her. But unlike Lenora, I'm a fellow adult, so I can call her Josephine, and it's not disrespectful. Are you ready to leave yet? We're in for a long trip. There's no coming back until tomorrow morning. No, no, not yet. Fine with me, but don't dilly-dally, okay? Come to me when you're ready. We should probably- Oh, we can't get into the shop. Never mind. I was gonna say we should go into the shop and buy some stuff, but I see we can't. Do you have anything for us, though? No, he's just can't get anything. I guess he's out of inventory anyway. I'm kind of interested in checking on our house one time. Oh, we can't go back. Well, our house survived the attack at least. I guess that's one advantage of not living in the center of town. One advantage of this... Well, it's hardly urban sprawl, this is as rural as it gets. Are you ready to leave yet? Yes, let's go. Yeah, I think I'm ready to leave. Good. Let's get going, then. Miss Stonecrop, why don't you like the Huntsman? I might sound childish, but I just don't. Ever since he came here, I've never liked him. Well, did he do something bad to you? Or anything like that? I don't know if he's ever done a bad thing in his life, to be honest. Though, I can't help but feel that he's capable of it. Every time I look in his eyes, something just doesn't feel right to me. Hmm. Everyone in Pokeweed seems to like him, but maybe... <laughs> Wolves! Lenora, get back. M more coming! They're even bigger than before! Damn it. Lenora, I need to stay and protect the village. You have to go on. I'll be fine. M Miss Stonecrop! Don't worry about me. Get to your grandmother's house. But... Now. Well, let's go. Really, we should probably run. This is Button Bush Woods, huh? Oh wait, the menu is a different color. Everything's a different color. Right? Yeah, it is. Well, okay, no time to lose. <laughs> what was that? Great. It's those wolves. Did they get to... No, I need to get to Grandma's house. I can't hunt them with this crummy axe. Run, Lenora! The wolves only bear- No! Oh! The sparkle distracted me. The wolf dragged Lenora to the woods and mauled her to death. Sometime later, the villagers found her mangled body abandoned in the undergrowth. With heavy hearts, the village buried Lenora behind her mother's garden. The village continued to suffer wolf attacks and killings. Within a few years, Pokeweed Hollow was wiped out entirely, and remained forgotten until the forest swallowed it whole. Wow. Um. That's about the fastest I've ever seen a video game go from you messed up one time to everybody died. Not the fastest, but the second fastest, I'd say. Huh. 
I'm sorry, Lenora. Well, everybody, I guess that was Huntress of the Hollow. Actually, I'm going to see an ending that is more like a complete story. Alright, we're not going to be distracted foolishly this time. Really, that was embarrassing. I can't believe that I let that happen. That was so careless of me getting to Grandma's house. Grandma! Lenora, is that you? You have some odd glasses, Grandma. What's the matter, dear? Were you out mushrooming? I hope not, the wolves could have gotten you. Grandma, are you all right? A pack of wolves just attacked the village. Goodness, child, I'm fine, but you look terribly exhausted. You should rest a while, my dear. All right, dear, once more from the beginning. Wolves attacked the village just hours ago, and I'm afraid that they overwhelmed Miss Stonecrop. I must go to the Huntsman. He's the only one who can help us now. Wolves always were a problem with the Hollow, but I've never heard of them attacking the village so directly like this. Something must be making them act so strangely, don't you think? Certainly not normal. In any case, I agree that finding a strong, brave hunter is the only choice we have, but is it really safe for you to go it alone? Well, Ms. Stonecrop taught me how to hunt. I'm no huntress, but I've already killed three of them today. There are even bigger ones outside, though, and the axe I have right now is too weak to do the job. You need a stronger axe, you say? Well, you're in luck, my dear. I have a nice, sturdy firewood axe you may borrow. If it can split wood, it can split wolf skulls. Let me go fetch it right quick. Thanks, Grandma. Here we are, darling. You'll make better use of this than your old grandma. I also baked some pastries you can take with you. Make sure you keep yourself nourished. Thank you. Thank you, Grandma. I'll return as soon as I'm able. Remember, wolves are fearsome, cunning creatures. Even if they're rabid, they deserve our respect. You're a cool woman, Grandma. Your mother's always worrying about me. I think she keeps forgetting that the strength of survival is woven in our blood. I'll be wasting away in my deathbed before I let some trite little wolf bring me down. <laughs> I sure hope so, Grandma. Yeah, she doesn't want to go upstairs here either. Well, um... First of all, it might behoove us to save. Next. Well, okay, I guess we've already have something else equipped, right? Yeah, I guess that we automatically es equip the um, new axes as we get them. Buttermilk pie, huh? I wonder what buttermilk pie is. I've never heard of that. I've heard of lots of pies, but never buttermilk pies. So, the problem is that here, won't the wolves just attack Grandma once she's... Won't they just go into her house and attack her? I mean, you'd think so. Darn it. Okay. Um, I feel like it's probably best to use these special attacks. At least for now. Well, then again, we're doing more damage to the wolf than it is to us. I guess the axe is sharper than its teeth. It's very odd the wolves have pie slices, though. But Grandma couldn't have been replaced by an evil wolf or anything, right? I mean, she couldn't have, because she wouldn't have given us the axe then. Chokeberry Thicket, huh? Is that where the hunter lives? Or the huntsman, I guess? We're a huntress, not a huntsman. You know, I have to say, the wolves are moving with a lot less purpose now. Before, they were like a unified wall pursuing her. Okay, it might behoove us to fight... Oh crap, there are two of them. Well, that's fine. Yep, 
do you think we're going to, um, uh, do you think that we're ever going to get to the point that we're going to have multiple party members? Maybe? I mean, the clumsy sweep is clearly very clumsy. It doesn't do much damage at all. Okay, no. Lenore, buttermilk pie. Good job. That was close, Lenora. Lenora, buttermilk pie. Kill it. Kill the wolf. Kill it. Lenora, it's you or it, okay? I'm sorry too that I'm making you that you gotta do this. But this but this is this is what life is right now, okay? More pie. Yep, one pie. One wolf, one pie. I feel like we're not using our resources as wisely as we should. But what choice do we have? Not much. Okay, we're gonna stop using the specials so liberally. That's what I'm taking away from this right now. A new part of the woods, huh? This is only bad. Choke berry thicket, huh? Run! 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 Ran right into that one. Literally, actually. You see, the thing is that she does more damage to the wolf with each, with each swing than it does to her. With each, with each gnaw. See? One on one, she'll win every time. The ideal, then, is that every battle, she get damaged just enough that one piece of buttermilk pie is what she needs to help her. Because that's how much one wolf is gonna, is gonna yield. Anything else and we're losing. What is this juice anyway? Oh, it recovers pee pee. Yeah, juice does make you urinate. That was an incredibly immature joke and I apologize. Seriously this time, I don't apologize for my puns or I do it in an ironic way, but I really am sorry about that. Oh, we got caught again. Uh, well, you can't argue that I didn't try. Well, I mean, you could. I didn't try nearly as hard as I should have. I like how abstract the wolves are. They really barely resemble wolves at all. Well, on the plus side... Well, the thing is, there isn't EXP in this game. I realized that earlier when I attacked that one wolf, that was completely pointless. Because we're not leveling up, we find new axes as we move along. It's important that I go fast when I get the item from the- Darn it! From the tree trunks, I was gonna say. Because if we don't go fast, then the wolf is gonna catch us while we're looking at the item. Darn it, Lenora! Well, she's doing better than I would. I would have died already. But I'm beginning to wonder if maybe our friend the blacksmith doesn't... I mean, Josephine might not have quite as good judgment as I'd like to assume. Because everybody else likes the Huntsman. And she also decided that Lenora, a random, you know, little girl, should fight the wolves? Why? Oh, the Huntsman's... Wait, what? What's to the... East is Bloodroot Forest, huh? You know, there are trees that actually, like, in real life, that is... I believe it's called the Bloodwood or something like that. It's a very peculiar tree because when you chop it down, it actually looks like... It's, um, uh... Bleeding. Very creepy. Also, you might notice that she's red now. Her color changes with the environment. Huntsman, are you in? It's Lenora Clement. Or Calament. It's Lenora Calament. Is he not home? His door is unlocked. 
Maybe he fell asleep? Well, sleeping can wait. The village needs help now. Oh no, is he really not home? What am I going to do now? I might... I might have to do it alone. Well, I ought to look around in here before I leave. His cabin must have some provisions I can borrow for the trip home. I'm afraid what's going to happen if this guy catches us. So his food is untouched, huh? Hey, I didn't say to take it. Why are you taking his food? You don't know that he... He could just be in the, you know, using the, you know, bathroom out back or something. I thought it was a key. It probably leads to a pantry in any case. Well? Looks like a lumberjack's axe. This should be much more useful than the axe Grandma gave me. Frankly, I feel like we're robbing him. I don't feel comfortable about this. Oh no! That wolf looks huge! And I bet there's more of out there. Where are they all coming from? I might be able to handle a few of them, but things don't look good at all. I need to check on Grandma before I reach the village. I tried. You know, although these axes might be getting stronger, I half expect that what's going to happen is that, like, her attack is going to get worse because the axes are so heavy. Does that make sense? I think it makes sense. So we need to get back to the village, huh? I think it might make sense the Huntsman could already be there. Although, he would have passed us on the trail. Wouldn't he? The answer is yes. Use, um... This. Good job. Okay, run. What are we gonna do? We're gonna- Oh, criminy! Maybe we can get around it. Ooh, we made it! Yeah, back to the village. Back to the village is what we need to go do right now is get back to the village. These wolves are like monsters. Well, in a pretty literal way, but I mean, they seem less like animals and more like monsters is what I mean. We're still doing more damage to it with each hit than it's doing to us. Once that balance turns, well, actually, once that balance turns, we can't fight them anymore because any wolf that's too strong, that's stronger than the axe, is a one-hit kill, isn't it? For us, I mean. Not us killing it. It, it. We, it will kill us in one hit. Is what I mean. Run, run, run. We need to check on Grandma, right? Is she gonna have been replaced by the big bad wolf? Who ate all the little pigs? Grandma! Grandma, I've returned! Back so soon? Were you able to find the Huntsman, dear? Grandma, you are really quite odd-looking. What? No, Grandma, he wasn't in his cabin. I haven't the slightest idea where he could be. But I don't have time to wait for him to save us. There are ferocious wolves out there. The village is lost if I don't leave right away. Serious as this may be, you'll be wolf chow if I let you leave like this. Rest a while, Lenora. All right then, time for you to leave, dear. Yes, I'm afraid so. I hope I can do this. Be cautious and cunning, Lenora. Fearsome as the wolves may be, they're just as lost as we are. By the way, take some extra provisions with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Grandma. I like how she still respects the animals, even at the same time they're killing everybody. Like, I'm not being ironic and joking, like, why does she respect them? I mean, there's a sort of fierceness to these animals that makes them sort of admirable. Where are all the wolves? Should we check on the village? No. No. Well, I don't know. Maybe. 
We, like, our whole mission was to check on Grandma, and we did. Huntsman! Well, look who we have here. Hello, little Lenora. Visiting your grandmother, were you? What a good girl you are. Huntsman, I was looking all over the forest for you. Where had you gone? I was out doing what I do best, my girl. What's gotten you in such a fuss? Stung by a wasp again. Huntsman, Pokeweed Hollow's been overrun by wolves. You need to come with me right away. We have to get rid of them. The Hollow's overrun by wolves, is it? Well, you and I will have to rectify that, won't we? Come along, then. We have much to do. Wait, where are we going? Back to my cabin, of course. Your cabin? We don't have time for that. Trust me, little Calamint. This wolf problem won't be solved by rushing to the village like a couple of silly knights. Let's get going now. We won't get anything done dawdling around in the woods like this. He's a much smaller guy than I expected. Thought he'd be big and stocky, you know? Not that I'm one to judge. He can still be very tough and not be those things. Like Josephine. Please remind me why we're here instead of the village. Dear little Lenora, I've already told you why. Simply killing the ones in the village won't stop this. Then how do we stop the attacks? Wolves may be pack hunters, but they always have a leader. I've run into this pack's big bad alpha wolf before. He's an old nemesis of mine, but it looks like his time has come, doesn't it? I suppose so. As long as we can do it quickly, there really isn't much time left. We? Oh no, little Lenora, I'm doing it alone. What do you mean? I'm not going to stay here and do nothing. Nonsense. You'll be killed the moment you step outside. It's safer to stay here in the cabin. Huntsman, I've hunted whole packs of wolves by now. I can handle myself. Well, that may be. I don't want to put you in danger any longer. It would be irresponsible. Your mother would have my head. Here. You can have my spare hunting axe, if it'll make you feel safe. Also, should a stray wolf break in, here's a little trick to end its life quickly. Behead the wolf? Yeah, that's a good thing to do with the axe. Couple blows to the neck and it's dead. Huntsman, I appreciate everything you've done for me, but I can't help but feel like I need to go with you. I know, little Calamint. This is a stressful time for you, for everyone. But don't you worry your pretty little head off. I'll solve all this once and for all. Have some treats to hold you over for the night. I should be back by morning with a brand new wolf pelt cloak. Thank you. All right then, I'm off. Try to get some rest. You've had a long day, little Lenora. He's gone. But I still feel like I need to go after him. For some reason, staying behind doesn't feel safe to me at all. Should I stay? Or should I go? I'm not sure, honestly. I could see it going either way. I must say that maybe because the well was poisoned for me by Josephine, there's something about the Huntsman I don't quite like. But that's ridiculous. I mean, he seems like a pretty nice, straightforward, to the point kind of guy. Although, it's a little odd that we didn't... that he went to the village and didn't know the, about the wolf problem? How could he have missed all those wolf corpses? Okay, I'm gonna choose to... to go. That's what I'm gonna do. First, and if this doesn't work... This'll work. We'll be fine. I should go. I should go. I'm going. There are too many wolves out there for one person to handle, experienced hunter or not. This is gonna go bad real quick, isn't it? Yeah, probably. Actually, no, we should save. 
We probably have a huge array number of files to save in, after all. A lot of stories to tell. All right, get ready to run. Run! Get the, get it, get it, get it, get it. Okay, wh what do we get? I don't even care. Oh no. We're gonna go straight from this battle to, well, fine, that's fine. We have 50 HP now. We can handle a stinking tall wolf. Apple butter pasties, huh? I used to think that a pasty was one of those, like, things that you put over your nipples. But I've since learned that it also refers to pastries. So that's a perfectly acceptable term for it. It's not one you'd hear too often, though. In fact, the fact that it's non-standard, I think, makes it sort of more, um, effective in a way. Can we bubble milk tea? Is it like bubble tea with those little pearls in it? It couldn't be. I mean, it's just hot and bubbly with honey too, so it's not. It's not. Now where are we? Bloodroot Forest. Ironic that Bloodroot Forest isn't red, isn't it? Oh gee, some of these trees almost look like skeletons themselves. The skeletons of trees. The only time we need the special attacks is if we encountered a group of wolves instead of one. Oh, on the subject of one. Are these tougher? I, th I think they're not. I think they're just changed palettes along with everything else. Yeah, they did. I I'm right. This is good. We're beginning to have ample supplies. You know, when you go out to fight wolves, you should always run around with some pastries in your pockets. It's a good idea. Not really. I'd be worried that the smell would attract bears. Though I can't think of any fairy tales about bears that are like really old fairy tales, you know? I can only think of ones that involve wolves. There are some that involve boars. I've read a number of Grimm's fairy tales. Uh, they're pretty interesting. I've heard that a lot of them have really brutal, sad endings, but that's not true at all. The vast majority of them, the good guys won and the bad guys lost. They just happen to be really kind of violent and disturbing along the way. Now, not all of them did. One of them was literally just a description about how, you know, a baby, like some kids murder, like a kid murders his brother. Monochrome. Boneset Crag, huh? Anyway, he, he, he murders, he, they see their father butcher a pig. So the boy murders his brother in the same way that the father butchered the pig. But then... It's a beautiful night, actually, if only there weren't these wolves around. Anyway, but then, um... The mother hears what happens, and seeing that the son has murdered his brother, she kills him. Then when she goes upstairs, she realizes that when she left her baby there because she heard the murder take place, the baby drowned. In, in despair, she, for what she's done, she kills herself. Soon the father died of grief. The end. That's actually the story, though. That, like, I, I'm not summarizing it. That's pretty much the story. It does not go into any more detail than I did. It was a bit more direct, though, than I was. You know, I sort of was beating around the bush. It was much more direct. It made it sort of, I think, more scary. Er... Yeah, save. Save. Let's go. This must be the wolf's cave, right? Blood. Well, that doesn't mean anything. They could have just killed a deer and dragged it in here. But they've clearly... ate a lot. This is bad. Oh, no. It, it, 
It ate the Huntsman! I can't do this. I can't do this. What am I going to do? How can I... No. I've come too far. There's no turning back. This is a bad idea, Lenora. The Huntsman couldn't handle it. Why could you? The hunt is on. Is... is the wolf holding back? What's making him hide his ferocity? What are you talking about, hiding his ferocity? In what way is this wolf hiding ferocity? Okay, you know what? I think it's time to eat some an apple butter pasty. The wolf doesn't have those. He doesn't care when my axe cleaves him? What are you talking about? What makes you think the wolf doesn't care? I mean, it's sure trying to kill you, isn't it? I'd say that the answer to that is a clear yes. All these wolves look like freaky paintings or something. I see, our main attack really is, um, uh, pretty ineffective. No, it's not weak enough to kill it like that. Oh, great. Great, this is great, now we're out of... Okay, where's the... Here, use this. We're gonna need that sarsaparilla cream if we're gonna kill it. The wolf is almost dead, but I can't help but feel like maybe this isn't right. Should I really finish it off? It killed the huntsman. Its pack is terrorizing my home, yet... Why should you not finish it off? What has gone on here that makes you think you shouldn't finish it off? It... it's... you saw what the wolf did to your town, right? This is a matter of life or death, Lenora. And I'm sorry that this has to happen to you, but... Yes, it's just a wild animal after all. It's terrorized my village and eaten the huntsman. I must kill it. I need to use that finishing blow and put it out of its misery. the town saved? I feel like that we're missing something here, that something terrible has happened, but other than the Huntsman's death, I mean, and yet I can't... I can't put my finger, finger on, on, on why I feel this way. Lenora stood above the Alpha Wolf's corpse, her axe dripping with blood. The hunt had been much easier than she thought it would be. But then again, she was lucky that the beast had been wounded greatly by the late, brave Huntsman. She returned to the village with the wolf's head in her hands, and the villagers were overcome with joy at her triumph and sadness at the huntsman's passing. The wolf's head was mounted in the baron's home, becoming a decoration on his mantelpiece. With its death, the wolf attacks lessened tremendously. Since the huntsman had died, Lenora became the sole guardian huntress of Pokeweed Hollow. She took numerous hunting lessons from Ms. Stonecrop and worked tirelessly to protect her home. Oh, thank goodness Ms. Stonecrop survived. But the wolves' attacks, though much less frequent, never actually stopped like the huntsman told her they would. After a few years, Lenora became too exhausted to fight them off. With their guardian out of commission, the villagers had no choice. They abandoned the hollow and began looking for a new place to call home. After they left, the village remained forgotten and abandoned until the forest swallowed it whole. Huh. Well, I'm glad that I'm, uh... 
that things worked out. Even if the village had to be abandoned in the end. She did her best to carry on her great-grandmother's legacy, I guess. Although, I can't help but wonder what would have happened if she didn't kill the wolf. Because I still feel like we're missing some key element of this story. Why was the dog... Why did the dog know something that people didn't? Why did Lenora think she maybe shouldn't kill the head of the pack? What's going on here? I don't know. You know what? I am going to see what would happen if I did the other thing. I try not to do that, but I am curious. This, after all, is ending B, so there must be an ending A. I see what she meant when she says that it's not, it's holding back its ferocity. It usually just uses things that affect stats rather than, rather than attacking her, although it does that too. Well, what happens if we spare the wolf? Is it not really a normal wolf? I... I can't do it. This creature has hurt me and my village so much. But I can't do it. I suppose I should thank you for sparing me. So, thank you. What? Who are you? To tell me who you are. Who am I? I'm the alpha of the wolves in this land, if you really can't tell. Not the sharpest fang in the maw, are you, Huntress? Don't get smart with me, wolf. You know I didn't mean that. Tell me your name. Uh, names are a human construct, Huntress. They're not natural to wolves. However, you may feel free to call me Avel. I picked it up when I was a rebellious pup. All right then, Avel. You killed the huntsman and your pack is attacking my home. Give me one good reason to keep myself from bringing this axe down on your neck. Well, I have many good reasons, you know. But the best reason I can offer is this. I'm not the one responsible for my pack attacking your village. Though I do apologize for that. You're not responsible, but you're the Alpha. Those wolves follow your orders. The Huntsman was incredibly clear about that. I think a human idiom works well with this. Have you ever heard of a wolf in sheep's clothing? To make a long and arduous tale short, it's my brother Cain who's turning my pack rabid. The bastard. Your brother? I haven't seen any other wolf like you since this all began. Like I said, a wolf in sheep's clothing. He's a little too good at concealing himself. Though it sounds like you know him already. I think you called him the Huntsman. The Huntsman? Didn't you kill him just now? Unfortunately not. He beat me something fierce and slipped away before you came here. He likes to do things like that. Tricky bastard. How could he be a wolf? He doesn't look like you at all. And he hunts wolves. He wears a wolf pelt as a cloak, for goodness sake. He even taught me how to behead wolves as cleanly as an executioner's guillotine. Well, that sounds horrifyingly unpleasant. In any case, he is a wolf. Conceal the rest of his body as he may. We all have the same markings on our faces. Though to you, they may look like scars under his eyes. Scars under his... his eyes? Oh. Oh no! Listen, Huntress. Until you kill my brother, my pack will ravage everything it can get between its teeth.
As you said, he's been hunting them all down. The more he hunts, the more panicked they become, and the more they destroy the forest in their terror. He's insane, honestly, hiding under the guise of man for as long as he is destroys a wolf. We're just not the same. Nature doesn't work that way. But surely there's a way to reverse it, to cure him. I can't just kill him after all he's done for the village. If there was a way, I wouldn't know it. He's far too gone, Huntress. Let him live and soon he'll eventually snap and kill all of you, too. Probably. So, now what do we do? Well, you kill him, of course. But he taught me how to kill you! Do you really honestly think I can do better than that? Well, no. Not without this. This is an enchanted axe. Us wolves prefer our fangs, but sometimes it takes more than that to butcher a mighty hunter. No offense intended. While we've never used this on one of our own, I have no doubt that it will end Cain's life swiftly. So why don't you use it? My brother simply knew what to expect. A wolf never loses its cunning. But you aren't me, Huntress. He won't know what to expect from you. You're the best hope we have. Now, let me show you how to wield it. This is more than just an axe for splitting wood. Cutting away, it lets us avoid a training sequence. Because realistically, he must really, must be quite tedious learning these things. Disturbing, true, but tedious also. Oh, and my wolves have stolen some supplies from your village, it looks like. I apologize. Then, this is it, isn't it? Yes, Huntress. There isn't anything else I can do for you. Well, wish me luck, I suppose. I'll wish as much luck as I can, Huntress. By the way, Avel, my name isn't Huntress. It's Lenora. A pleasure to meet you, Huntress Lenora. So, wolves can just take human form? I suppose it's a sign of animism, isn't it? An animistic sort of culture these people live in, right? Yeah. Right. Er... We should save. Yeah, let's go. Or did I save? I don't know. Sometimes I'm afraid I hit wrong keys when I didn't. Well, I guess it's, uh, time to get moving, right? Right. Maybe the stuff in the tree trunks was stuff the wolves stole from the village. I could see it. But this is going to be a tough pill to swallow. What's she going to do, just walk up to him and kill him? What will the other villagers think? Some wolf told you this? Why do you trust him? Wait a minute, what? Oh, here we go. They might have a point about why would you trust the him, but well, I guess what I'm kind of curious about then is... What's she, what's she gonna do? Is she gonna tell everyone he's a wolf? He can just play that off. He is cunning after all. But then again, he's um, sort of lost his sense of decency. He's, well, he's crazy. So he might not actually do something that's really rational in his service like that. Who knows? Who knows what goes on in the heart of a cursed wolfman? It's rather not subtle, you know, that his name is Cain. Cain and Avil, huh? Oh, I get it. Avil is pretty close to Abel. But that's not a fairy tale exactly. I'd say it's in the category of mythology. Not fairy tales. But hey, they're pretty closely related, aren't they? Fairy tales, folklore, myth. No, we're gonna save, again. Just strikes me as prudent.
little Lenora is gonna... Well, you might say that just murdering a guy with an axe in cold blood, even if he's the bad guy, is pretty brutal. But it's definitely true to fairy tales. The Huntsman. Oh, we're going to his house? I guess I just kind of thought he might have gone into town. It might make sense to do this with some witnesses around, so they can know that he attacked you or something, right? But I guess not, huh? Huntsman? Lenora. Where did you run off to? You're lucky your mother wasn't around or she would have bitten off my head. D don't play dumb with me, Huntsman. I talked to your brother, Avil. I know what you are. My brother? What I am? I don't know what you're talking about, little Kalamint, but I don't have a brother. I'm just a lonely hunter who likes tanning wolf hides. And, if you may remember, keeping your village safe. Huntsman, the Alpha Wolf told me everything. Stop making a fool of yourself and admit you're not who you say you are. This is rich, little Lenora. You have quite the imagination. Now stop all of this nonsense and come to your senses. Haven't you ever heard that wolves are cunning? Not as much as foxes, of course, but... Suffice to say, a wild animal will do anything to save its hide. That wolf knows you're a naive little girl. It lied right to your face. This is part of why I told you to stay behind. You must never trust the words of a wolf. Then, why was it still alive? You said you were going to end this once and for all. Why did you let the poor thing live? Lenora, it hurt me just as much as I hurt it. I'm simply resting until I can go back and finish the job. Huntsman, you don't have a scratch on you. You honestly expect me to believe- Listen, little girl. I won't hear any more crazy talk from you. This was cute at first, but it's gotten upsetting. Let's focus on the positive, okay? There are a lot of wolves out tonight, so you should stay here for the time being. I'll even cook you a hot breakfast in the morning. Just sit and calm down. Wolves can be scary, I know. But you're safe with me, so just relax. Huntsman, I'm not- I'm going to the back room to freshen up, all right? Sit by the fire, and I'll be back before you know it. Tomorrow, I'll get rid of that mangy wolf for good. Well, what should I do now? He's right. He has to be. The Huntsman has always helped the village help me. How could he be some kind of ridiculous beast? That wolf tried to lie to me, and I was almost stupid enough to fall in its trap. Lenora decided that Avel, the Alpha Wolf, must have been lying and stayed in the Huntsman's cabin for the night. As everyone had told her, Wolves truly would do anything to save their hides, and that included the cunning trickery the Alpha Wolf had tried to pull on her. As he had promised, the Huntsman left to kill Avil the following day, and after a few long hours he arrived at the cabin's doorstep, the wolf's head in his hands. He and Lenora returned to Pokewood to Pokeweed Hollow, and the Huntsman paraded the wolf's head around for all to see. With Lenora's promising aptitude for hunting, she became the Huntsman's apprentice. Over the next few years, the two of them hunted the rest of the wolves until they were wiped out. With the village safe now that the wolves were dead, the Huntsman convinced Lenora to travel with him and visit other villages that suffered from wolf attacks. The two of them became well known for their hunting, and as the years went by, they continued to hunt all of the wolves in the land until none were left at all. People soon began to ask them to cure the villages of bears, wild boars, and even foxes preying on hens. And as long as the pay was good, the huntsmen happily obliged. As successful and prosperous as her new life was, Lenora still couldn't help but think about the Alpha Wolf's words from that fateful night many years ago. 
As evil as the beast had been, something about its final words tugged at her heart. But it had just been a trick, right? It had just been a pathetic attempt to avoid its fate, right? She just knew she had made the right choice. Hadn't she? Once again, it really basically worked out, even if the alpha male was telling the truth. Though I believe I saw somewhere that actually, in the wild, wolves don't have alphas. That's something that happens when they're sort of kept in captivity. Um, I forget what determines what wolves are kind of the leaders in the wild, though. Not that I'm an expert on wolves or anything, so I could be completely wrong. Still, the way the Huntsman is posed there makes him really look like a bad guy. But hey, this is ending A. So what would have happened if she went into the back room? Because I still feel like we're missing something. Though I'm glad she and the Huntsman were able to make a living like that. After all, um, the Huntsman was, uh, let's say that he really was this other wolf. And he went crazy and began murdering the other wolves. It sounds like he lived his whole life just hunting animals. Um, and while it might not be good for him to exterminate whole species from a country, in this time period, no one, and I mean no one, would have thought anything of, say, wiping out the local fox population. Because they were a problem to the people. And I like that the game is actually kind of not punishing you for making these choices. It's not like, you know, everything worked and then there's a disaster and everyone dies. Um, so if you make the choice you think you should make, you can still get an ending that's makes enough sense, and isn't horrible. Still, if it really is trying to integrate into human society, what, what's so bad about this wolf? And for that matter, I think, I think that Avil was telling the truth, because otherwise, why would the Huntsman have really disappeared on the timeline where Lenora just killed the Alpha. We'll go after him. Though I'm reminded of the fairy tale trope in a story like Bluebeard, where the person goes into the room they're not supposed to, and... Well, they discover a terrible truth. And I'm after truth, I always am. Something still isn't right, and I won't let him walk away from this. There's mutilated wolf corpses everywhere. Well, that makes sense since he's a huntsman, but... This is very culty looking. Lenora. Huntsman? You really shouldn't be back here, my girl. It shows the ugly side of hunting. Nothing fit for a little girl like you to see. Can you stop acting like I'm a child? This wolf situation is serious, and I need answers from you right now, Huntsman. Little Lenora, this is ridiculous. Do you want me to tell your mother how troublesome you're being? Why won't you listen to me? The Alpha Wolf said... The Alpha Wolf will be dead tomorrow. It doesn't matter what he said. Now turn back around and leave this room this instant. I am not leaving until you take me seriously and answer me. So start talking, Kane. Kane. Yes, I suppose that is my name, isn't it? Listen, little girl. I kill those wolves because they are better off dead. Avil and I fought over control of the pack for years upon years. I decided I'd end it by killing them all instead. Hiding as a human hunter makes executing them so much easier, you see. Grants a lot of power. To one who deserves it, I might add. Plus, isn't it a service to you? If I hunt down all those wolves, your village will be safe or something. Those wolves are attacking the people I love right now because of you! They never attacked us before you started hunting them. That is true. But what if I told you I don't actually care? You humans are just as stupid as my old pack. I might as well kill you all too. You'll all be less of a headache, that's for certain. 
What? What about the village? You helped to protect us. After all these years, how could you turn on us like that? Must there always be some deep dark reason to do the things I do? I said it before and I'll say it again. I don't care about your little hovel you call a village, or the people in it. Never have. Plus, I might as well admit it to you. I'm the wolf who killed the Baron's wife. And then I killed one of the pack and brought him the pelt so he'd trust me. I've been stalking the Hollow's villagers ever since. It's fun. And in fact, I actually planned on killing the rest of you anyway once I was done with my idiot brother and this pack of mongrels. So I hope you told your family goodbye, because you're going to be the second person I've killed from that stupid little village. You know, Lenora, you're a pretty impressive huntress. You've already done a lot of my work for me. I even considered letting you in on my plan once I killed my brother. Oh well. You're not that special anyway. I'll make sure to haul your corpse to town when I'm through with you. Your mother should see her girl one last time before she dies. You know what? You're a bad, bad guy. And there could have been a timeline where you not only didn't kill anyone, but no one ever found out what a terrible, terrible guy you are. And I'm not sure what you just did, either. But I'm gonna keep attacking you. Because at this point, I'm... You don't have... I don't have much sympathy for you. On the contrary, I'm fairly convinced you're a very bad guy. But there are bad, bad guys everywhere. You're such a foolish girl, Honora. Do you really think you'll live through this? I'll rip your body to shreds! I'm sorry? What... what just happened? Well, whatever. Whatever, that's fine. I'll just eat my apple butter pasties. And drink some, uh, sarsaparilla cream. Or no, special, um, lumberjack. Huntsman, you're looking a little, uh... You know, you, you there's something different about you. You know, I see now that Josephine was right about you. She's always right about everything, isn't she? She's a bright woman. You know, I would appreciate it if you'd stop using... Behead. Actually, no, we should eat the pasty. Um... Sarsaparilla cream. An unnerving chuckle. Yeah, he strikes me as the kind who do something like that. Are we even doing any damage? I feel like... Hold on. Yeah, I feel like... I'm not sure we are. Um, here, how about... How about... Maybe we could try beheading? The very technique he taught us for killing wolves? There's no way I can kill him with that. Yeah, okay, I guess not. Well, I guess we'll just keep attacking. Right? Until... Until a miracle? Yeah, I'm not seeing the HP number indicating how much he's been hurt. And it's possible I'm just being really unobservant and missing it. But I don't think I am. I really don't think I am. Am I... I must be missing something, right? Frankly, this is quite a twist. We seem to have sort of left the fairy tale theme behind. I mean, listen to that noise. You know, I'm not sure quite what this guy is, but he's nothing good. Oh wait! We did it!
He's a wolf, I know, but is he really? Lenora stood above Kane's corpse, her axe slathered in his blood. He really was gone. She returned to Avil and gave the axe back to him, her job done. Grateful, he called off his pack and promised he wouldn't let them rampage through the forest again. Or Avil, I guess is how you say his name, right? Lenora and Avil soon returned to Pokeweed Hollow together, and the two of them told the villagers the truth about Cain and the attacks. While Avil's strange appearance had caused distrust and while Avil's strange appearance had caused distrust and scared the villagers at first, Lenora convinced them that he wasn't a threat. They soon forgave him and his pack for the attacks. With the whole village breathing a sigh of relief, peace returned to the hollow once more. Lenora's prowess at hunting inspired Ms. Stonecrop to begin hunting anew, and with Avel's help, or with Avel's help, the three of them protected the village and the forest together. With Lenora's bravery, Avel's brute strength, Miss Stonechop's wisdom and experience, Pokeweed Hollow was soon the safest village in the countryside. As the years went by, Lenora found a true friend in Avel, the Alpha Wolf. They remained close for years to come and established a bond between humans and wolves that triumphed over the test of time. Ending S. That was charming. Uh, I think that the system in the game could have been optimized a bit more. I'm under the impression that the intention was for there to be a resource management aspect to it, but it was never really challenging enough to make that really part of it. Um, not that I'm complaining. This is clearly a narrative-driven game. But if you're going to have a system like that, I feel like you might want to use it a bit better. Still, overall, I think that was nice. I like the art style. Um, there's a bit of subversion of traditional fairy tale tropes going on here, but I don't think there's anything too deep to it. Though I'm sure that, you know, a lit major could read into it in any number of creative ways. Nice work. For that matter, I am a big fan of the music. All piano, all quiet, except for the battle music. And even then, that oddly enough wasn't, um, uh... Normal battle music either. Didn't seem battle-like at all, which adds to the level of, of uh, abstraction that the pixel graphics and their, um, limited color palette already create. This is a great example of uh, video games that, even though we live in an era where you can do pretty much anything with graphics, they use the limited graphics to create something pretty unique, and I'm glad they did. Oh, hey, a bonus room. Sure, why not? Oh, I see. It's like a character, uh, like, review scene. Yeah, as I thought, um, uh... The odd thing is that that seems like... That a description like that seems kind of irrelevant at this point. We already know the truth about them. I'd say another one of the problems I thought there was was that there is a pretty large cast of characters, but they're basically all completely irrelevant. I do like that they fleshed them out a little bit, though. Because I think it's um, uh, important to do that, because it makes us feel more of a bond to the village, more of a desire to protect it. Um, and that's essential because that's Lenora's desire. Still, I feel like they could have been integrated into the story more, but that may require a more elaborate story. Oh wait, yeah, I already know that she um, tracks mud everywhere. 
I'm surprised everyone doesn't. I mean, we're a little rural village and like, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say maybe, maybe 17th century. Hey Dash. I like that he's perfect. He has no flaws. I'm surprised for that matter that, um, Dash being connected to, um, uh, uh, wolves, like, never really entered into the story. I expected it to somehow. Like, the wolves would call to him and he'd go wild, or he would, like, somehow try and tell Lenore something about the wolves. For that matter, this character who they take the time to draw our attention to, who never goes outside and stuff, I'm surprised nothing came of him. Like, I expected him to, once we met, um, uh, once we met Avil, I thought that for sure, Noonie here was going to be... a wolf, but I guess not. Oh, hey, that's me! I like that they note that she's adult in some endings. Thank you for specifying, I didn't notice. She must grow up fast if she wants to save the village. That means taking on the world and learning right from wrong. Miss Stonecrop's her idol and mentor. Huh. I guess it's kind of a coming-of-age story. Hey, Mum. You know, I really don't know where this is taking place. These aren't really German names. It seems to be somewhere in Britain. I mean, Eleanor Calament? For that matter, I'm surprised that this character um, didn't have that Red Riding Hood thing go on. I thought that's what this story was based off, because, you know, they're wolves, a girl in the forest, visiting her grandma, she wears a red hood, or a pink hood, as the case may be, or any number of other colors. Uh, but they didn't. In fact, uh, the only real connection to... Well, really, there's no connection to Red Riding Hood. It's pretty much a totally distinct, unrelated story, with the clever twist that here the woodsman is the big bad, not the big bad wolf. Here's Avel, or Avel. He grew up alongside Cain and became Alpha of the Pack. He has no qualm with killing his brother if need be, though deep inside he can't bring himself to do it with his own hands. So that's why he lost the fight, huh? And there's Cain. It's interesting that he's a different character from the Woodsman. A uh, Jekyll and Hyde kind of situation. Well, not really. The Woodsman seems to be perfectly aware of who he is. Although, there are, you know, in the other endings, he doesn't go on killing sprees and murder everyone. So, in a way, uh, Lenora does keep him under control. And in some, to some extent, he keeps himself under control because he chooses to actually make Lenora breakfast and not, you know, not kill her. Like, he actually goes out, kills the wolf, comes back, goes back to the village, he's a hero, and takes her on as an apprentice, and he really does. He doesn't do anything else evil after that that we know of. You can imagine him being a serial killer on the side or something, but that's completely outside of the text. Um, it's interesting that, you know, so yeah, he went crazy because he wanted to be a human. And what's this? Oh, we can look at all these artworks, huh? Sure. So... Okay, this is good. We get to see all the artwork. I'm glad because this is a gorgeous game. And I think this is some top-notch pixel artwork. And it is also pixel artwork of a variety um, that didn't really exist back in the days the consoles had these kinds of graphics. Because it has this minimalist, sort of self-consciously artful art style that you didn't necessarily see so much in the past. Yeah, I don't really need to see these. Um, I guess what I should say, since there are a lot of old video games that are gorgeous... Or, actually, no, you know what I want to look at more? Is that, I guess I should say, that you can tell it's like a modern game, because it, it is a very different style of uh, pixel graphics.
There might be some old game that really has artwork that looks this good. This sort of self-consciously... Well, I mean, they're nice compositions. Um... Yeah, so these are the... These are bad ending stuff. And now... Oh, we can look at pictures from all the endings, huh? Wrong key! Why do I keep doing that? You see, that's my great weakness in video games. I can't remember which button is which. You think I would have gotten better by now, but nope. So, this is clearly not a good ending. Um... There's the Baron worried about what's going on. There's Lenora's grave overgrown. What happened? I guess this is what happens if the... if... Avil kills her? It's funny they became friends since when they first met, you know... Avil just wanted to murder her. But hey, she just wanted to murder him. Okay, so I'm not sure what ending this is from. Well, if I had to guess, this is clearly an ending where the Huntsman kills her, then kills everyone. Wait, is this what would have happened if she had stayed in his cabin that first night? That seems like a pretty dramatic um, thing to do. Just it by choosing to stay there one night. Like, that time he does it, but not later when she finds out that he's evil? And, like, he knows that? Weird. Maybe it's because he knows she would have been on her guard in that case? Well, we saw the artwork for these other endings. Or we didn't see ending B, actually. Or wait, yeah, we did. We saw B and A. But I wouldn't mind seeing extra, yeah. Heck yeah. This is not what I wanted to see. You see, we begin moving into these better endings where she isn't dead anymore. And then we get to the best ending. Oh, and the title screen artwork. Oh, dear. I don't want to see that picture of her ever again. Go! Go! Go me in my big mouth! Hey, there's the coolest person ever. Well, not really, but she is pretty cool. Well, I guess that's that, huh? I'm gonna stand by this being the scariest image in the game. It's like a half-human skull, half-wolf skull thing on top of blood. Thanks a lot, Kane. I guess it's kind of a good ending when she sort of keeps Kane under control, like in this one, though, right? Right. And this is where we listen to the music, yeah? Yeah. Well, may actually be no. Uh, let's let's put on a let's put on a track. Why the heck not? Sure, let's go for some jams. What kind of jams you want today, huh? This is that final boss music, huh? Yeah. No, this is the final boss music. Yeah, it sounds like something out of... Well, actually, it sounds kind of like, uh... The final level in Kirby Canvas Curse. I dig this one. It's very simple, uh, but I think it sort of goes very well with the overall rather surreal aesthetic. Anyway, I do like the one that the best ending is the one with minimal violence. 
um, the wolves and humans live in peace. Although, ironically, to get to that ending, we have to go through ourselves the most violence. Because not only does she have to fight, um, I keep forgetting his name, Avil, uh, but then you have to fight Cain, in addition to all the other wolves that were killed up to that point. I'm surprised they could put things past them like that. Although I guess it did turn out the wolves are the good sports here, since the villagers didn't kill any. Uh, like, they didn't kill any of the villagers, but the villagers killed a lot of them. I could have sworn I saw one in here called Extra Goodies. Yeah, here it is. Darn it, I missed it. Here it is. Music to brush your teeth by. Well, that was Huntress of the Hollow, everybody. A charming little indie title. I'm always impressed that some of the most interesting video games I end up finding are like zero-budget freeware games. Endroll had a little bonus area like this too, didn't it? I think it did. Well, I'm glad things worked out a lot better here than they did back in Endroll. <laughs> I just saved a village. And, uh, increased the biodiversity, or preserved it anyway. See you around.